Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Catherine, and today I'm going to be talking about three easy ways to build empathy. I'm making this video really in response to a video I saw by Ali Abdal, who is a vlogger that I follow who focuses on productivity and tech and all sorts of wonderful things. He did a video with his housemate Sheen, in which they talked about how to increase empathy, and so I wanted to share my thoughts. When I think of empathy, I think of feeling what other people are feeling, or understanding and sharing their feelings. I think it's important that I ask myself, why am I trying to build empathy in the first place? Because if my end goal is to just feel what everybody else is feeling, then I think I'm inviting a lot of suffering into my life. The way I see it is that empathy is a means to an end, not the end itself. So empathy to me is a tool that we can use to cultivate compassion toward our fellow man and to build connection with others. So how do we do that? Well, the thought that comes to my mind is that verse that goes, rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. So going off of that, let me first start with weeping with those who weep. Because when we think about empathy, we think about how do I empathize with someone else's suffering? And honestly, in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to experience empathy is to have experienced similar suffering to that of someone else. So if someone has had their laptop stolen from them and I also have had my laptop stolen from me in the past, it's much easier for me to recall those feelings that I experienced when I had that laptop stolen. At the same time, it's not realistic for me to then go out and try to make myself as miserable as possible just so I can understand what other people feel. That's not what I'm saying. One thing I can do is draw on past experiences that I've had that could potentially be similar or help me understand where someone else is coming from. So if I have a friend who had a family member who passed away. And let's say I haven't had a close family member pass away, so I don't know what that's like. Is there an experience that I have of loss that I could draw on to remember what it felt like to experience loss? And in some situations, it's okay to even say, I don't understand, but I'm here for you. I actually still remember years ago when someone close to me died and a friend gave me a card that said, I don't pretend to understand, but I'm here for you. And that still stuck with me because it acknowledged that she didn't understand completely what I was going through, but she was willing to support me in whatever way she knew how. So in summary, either draw on past experiences, or if you don't have that past experience, find a way to hold space for someone, even if it means saying, I don't fully understand what you're going through, but I'm here and I wanna support you in any way I can. Or even saying, thank you so much for sharing that with me. Tell me more about that. When I know someone has a genuine interest in supporting me and expresses that to me, that means a lot. And it means more to me that they're willing to support me more so than whether or not they had a similar experience that they can empathize with. All right, so the second aspect I'm thinking of, rejoice with those who rejoice. On the flip side, empathy is not just about suffering. It's about happy times as well. And in my opinion, part of what builds connection with other people is not only being able to share in suffering, but also being able to share in the good times as well. So if someone is excited about something, even if it's something that I don't understand at all, is there a way that I can either draw on past experiences or simply even mirror their excitement? Are they smiling? I'm going to smile too. Do they seem excited? I'm going to mirror their energy. Now, I'm not gonna put on a show and I wanna be sincere in how I communicate that energy, but can I find it within myself to be excited because I see someone else is excited and I see that someone else is happy and that makes me happy too. And again, if the end goal is to build compassion and connection, then what matters more to me is being able to express how can I support you or how can I celebrate you? Because that shows a genuine interest in another person, regardless of whether I feel the same things they're feeling or not. The third and final thing I would say about building empathy is reading books. And this goes for fiction or nonfiction. If you're big into fiction, then read plenty of books that have good character development. One of the beautiful things about a good story is that it gets you into the minds of the characters. And if you can get absorbed into a good story, in a sense, that's an exercise in building empathy because you're feeling what someone else is feeling. And if you're into nonfiction, may I humbly suggest reading the book Becoming Naturally Therapeutic by Jacqueline Small. This book was actually required reading when I was in massage therapy school, but I love it because it breaks down different therapeutic traits for just being a nice person, really. And there is a chapter in here on empathy, but there's so many different traits to cultivate, like genuineness, respect, self-disclosure, warmth, immediacy, and reading about different aspects of 
therapeutic traits, I think helps with the overall enrichness of just being a more compassionate person and building connection. So if you're interested in getting this on Amazon, I'm gonna attempt to leave an affiliate link in the description to this book, but it's a wonderful read and I highly recommend it. So those are my three suggestions for building empathy. I'm not a psychologist or a doctor, so please don't take this as advice. These are just my thoughts based on experiences I've had and I wanted to share them in case they might be helpful. If you're interested in more content where I'm sharing my journey about how I'm trying to create a more holistic, wholesome, healthy lifestyle and just sharing what I'm learning in the process, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.